welcome back. Today we'll be reading Chapter 8 of The Secret Soldier. They call her Bobby. On May 20th, 1782, Deborah Sampson joined the army as a continental soldier. Her name was, she said her name was Robert Shortliffe. We will put you down for three years if, if the war lasts that long, she was told, as she signed her strange new name. At first, she was afraid to open her mouth to speak. Afraid that she could not keep her voice deep enough. At first, she was afraid someone would find out that she was a woman. By the way, she by the way she sat or walked or shook hands. But she, but wonder of wonders, no one guessed who she really was. They thought she was a young fifteen-year-old boy because she had no beard. Most of the time, the men called her Bobby, but sometimes to tease her, they called her Blooming Bobby. Blooming boy. Her first test as a soldier was a hard one. She had to make a long march to West Point, New York, in New York. She marched with 50 men. The march took almost two weeks. Every day she grew more and more tired until she felt she could not go on. Every night she fell asleep in her clothing, like the rest of the soldiers. One chilly, rainy afternoon, the soldiers stopped to rest at a tavern. Deborah was warm was warming herself at the fireplace. Suddenly, she fainted and fell on the floor. When she came, when she, when she came to, her first thought was, "Have I been discovered?" Then she heard her say, "What a pity! Such a young boy has to go to war." Deborah breathed a sign of relief. Her secret was still safe. At West Point, she was given a uniform, a gun, and a heavy knapsack to carry on her back. She liked her uniform and the blue coat with its white buttons. She liked the new leather cap. Every day, she had to clean her gun and take part in the daily drill. She went on many raids against toys. So soon, she stopped thinking of war as an adventure. What was the most horrible thing in the world, she thought. She heard the cries of men in pain. She saw them being shot down. She watched them die. She had to go on, go on long, 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 long marches. Her shoes fell apart. Often she had to go without food for days. Sometimes she got many blisters and sores on her hands. She could hardly open or close her fingers. But she never complained, and the other soldiers liked her for that. She did not drink or sing with the men, men or take part in the wrestling contest or games. She tried to stay by herself as much as possible. Everyone liked her. No one suspected that the quiet, blooming boy was really a girl. Deborah knew that her mother would worry about her if she did not hear from her. She wrote her a letter saying that she was fine. I found work in a large family, she wrote. Thanks for w tuning in today. T tune back in tomorrow for Chapter 9. Bye!